Tell me, how are you going to identify these vertebrae? This is a cervical vertebra. Uh, it, it is identified by the foramen transverse AM. Uh, they are on the transverse processes of the cervical vertebra. And they are, the, the spine is bifid. Bifid spine. And this is also a uh, cervical vertebra. It is known as axis because it has odontoid process on the superior surface of its body. This is the body and it has a foramen transverse area on the uh, transverse processes. Yes. And this is a, a thoracic vertebra. We can identify the thoracic vertebra uh, from the costal facets. Here are the costal facets uh, for the ribs on the body and this is the costal facet on the transverse process of the vertebra for the ribs and this is a lumbar vertebra it can be uh, identified by the large body kidney shape and there are no costal facets in the uh, on the body and the uh, on the transverse process tell me something about thoracic vertebrae this is a typical thoracic vertebra it has a heart shaped body and the body contain two demi facets for the articulation of the ribs upper demi facet articulates with the head of the rib uh, the corresponding rib and lower demi facet articulates with the head of the rib below and this is the pedicle and this is the transverse process of the vertebra it also contain a costal facet uh, which articulates with the tubercle of the rib and get another is, thoracic vertebra and show me how they articulate with each other. This is the superior articular facet of the thoracic vertebra and this is the inferior articular facet of the thoracic vertebra and they articulate like this. What are the structures passing through superior medias steinum and posterior medias steinum? Sympathetic trunks, thoracic duct, esophagus, right and left vagus nerves. Tell me about the venous drainage of esophagus. Cervical part of esophagus is drained by inferior thyroid vein. Thoracic part of esophagus drains into azygous system. Abdominal part of esophagus is drained by azygous vein and left gastric vein. What is the importance of knowing it? Anastomosis between the veins draining the abdominal part of esophagus form portosystemic anastomosis. Esophageal tributaries of azygous veins are part of systemic venous system and tributaries of left gastric vein are parts of portal venous system. If portal hypertension develop, these anastomotic channels dilate and form large collateral channels. They are called esophageal varices. They can rupture during passage of food, causing a severe hemorrhage which may be fatal. What are the structures that intend the normal esophagus? Arch of aorta, left bronchus, left atrium. Why the inhaled foreign bodies tend to enter the right bronchus? Because right bronchus is the wider and more direct continuation of the trachea. What is the structural and functional unit of the lung? Bronchopulmonary segment. Tell me something about it. Bronchopulmonary segment is a pyramidal shaped structure. Its apex face towards the lung root and its Bases are at the lung surface. Each segment is supplied by a segmental bronchus and segmental artery. The segmental vein lies between adjacent bronchopulmonary segments. Each segment has its own lymphatic vessels and autonomic nerve supply. Are there any lymph vessels in alveoli? No, the alveolar walls are devoid of lymphatic vessels. What will you observe at bronchoscopy if there is a carcinoma involvement in tracheobronchial lymph nodes? Widening of the angle between two bronchi. What are the bronchial arteries and what are the pulmonary arteries? Bronchial arteries supply oxygen and nutrients to bronchi connective tissue of the lung and pleura. Pulmonary arteries carry deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to the lungs. 
for the gas exchange. What are the origins of bronchial arteries? Two left bronchial arteries arise from descending thoracic aorta and right bronchial artery arises from left superior bronchial artery. Does the aorta pierce the diaphragm? No, it lies posterior to the median arcuate ligament of diaphragm. What pierces the diaphragm at the level of 8th thoracic vertebra? Inferior vena cava. Is it compressed by the contractions of the diaphragm? No, when diaphragm contracts, it compresses the abdominal viscera and lowers the intrathoracic pressure. It will open the inferior vena cava.